Hi everyone. I hope all of you guys are doing well. So today I'm not going to talk about any tangible topics of UPSC. I'm not going to talk about the syllabus, the topics like environment, economics, history, polity, etc. Today I'm going to talk about intangible things. Intangible things like confidence. Intangible things like doubt. Intangible things like motivation. Consistency. I'm going to talk about all these things through a conversation with you. and i'm going to tell you how you can nurture these various qualities which will help you not only to qualify upsc in fact they are very very important for upsc for you to be able to get through the upsc results but these qualities are going to help you throughout your life whichever profession you are in wherever you go even as an officer tomorrow if you are an officer because after upsc after cracking upsc the life does change and it gets harder believe me Yes, a lot of things get taken care of. You have a salary, you have a job, you have a lot of respect in society, you have a lot of good perks. But on the other side, you also have a lot of pressure. You also have a pressure to perform. You have deadlines. You have a lot of performance reviews. You have a lot of pressure from the top because you are working at a very very high level. And believe me, all this matters. All this matters. Governance is not the same it used to be. 10 15 years back it has changed a lot so that is why i'm going to talk you talk to you about a few things that are very very important for you to understand when you're trying to write this exam and also as a general as a person who wants to do well in life wants to be active and utilize your time to the best so the first thing i'm going to talk to you about is going to be confidence a lot of times aspirants come to my office they come to meet me and i'm very surprised to see the kind of confidence they have is very low they have a lot of doubt sandhe shanka jisko bolte hain hindi mein they have a lot of doubt that they are surrounded by and this doubt comes from the fact that they are consistently telling themselves that will i be able to do it how will i do it there is so much competition only people from very very good colleges and universities are passing this exam i was never good in academics in my college years I might not know all the good sources. Maybe there's some secret things that toppers do to qualify for this exam. So, is that why all these different different things create lot of doubt in the mind of aspirants? In fact, lot of these kind of things can create doubt in the minds of lot of other people also who are trying to do other things apart from UPSC. Maybe you are appearing for some other state services exam. Maybe you are looking for a job. So, lack of confidence comes from doubt. this doubt comes from not believing in yourself not believing in your own ability so i will give you a little bit of anecdote not anecdote but more of a story here from ramayan and this story is of no none other than lord hanuman hanuman ji aur aapko shayad bahut se logo ko pata hoga ki hanuman ji he had a lot of talent he had a lot of innate abilities because he was bayu putra and he even gobbled up the sun when he was a kid when he was very small but after that he forgot all his abilities he did not remember that he had all these abilities god like abilities so i think you can look at it metaphorically also that i think lot of us are born with a lot of innate talent we are born with some qualities every one of us but it is nurturing it is how we grow up that matters because sometimes we forget all these things and we start doubting ourselves and on the other hand some people are always reminded or are always moving on a path where they have confidence in themselves to execute anything in fact some people have so much over confidence that it even baffles me ki bhai itna over confidence kaise hai tumhare andar ki tum kuch bhi kar sakte ho but it matters i'm telling you it matters in the exams it matters in any kind of interviews UPSC interview also over confidence actually helps it matters when you are preparing because what happens is when you have confidence and when you are executing then results will be better but when you don't have confidence you will always keep doubting yourself and you will always keep making mistakes so the first thing i wanted to do is sit down take a deep breath and believe in yourself start believing in your own abilities it doesn't matter which college you went to which school you went to in my batch i have seen so many toppers in upsc come from colleges you might have never heard of 
सो इट इज टाइम फॉर यू टू सिट डाउन फॉरगेट एवरी थिंग फॉरगेट ऑल दीज टैग्स विच यूनिवर्सिटीज यू कम फ्रॉम फॉरगेट ऑल दीज टैग्स कि तू तो पढ़ाई में बहुत मीडियो कर रही और मीडियो कर इन एजुकेशन और इन इन स्टडीज फॉरगेट द टैग्स लाइक यू हैव ऑलवेज बीन अ लूजर इन अर लाइफ दीज टैग्स आर गिवन बाई पीपल हु डो नॉट केयर फॉर यू हु आर आउटसाइड यू हैव टू बिलीव इन अर ओन एबिलिटीज यू हैव टू स्टार्ट बिलीविंग इन अर ओन सेल्फ वर्थ यू हैव टू हैव दैट सेल्फ वर्थ आई विल टेल यू द स्टोरी ऑफ वन ऑफ माई बैचमेट्स हर नेम इज प्रांजल शी इज हंड्रेड परसेंट ब्लाइंड शी गॉट वन ऑफ द टॉप रैंक शी गॉट आई थिंक हंड्रेड एंड समवेयर अराउंड हंड्रेड एंड टेन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी रैंक जस्ट इमेजिन दिस गर्ल हु कम्स फ्रॉम दिस हिस्ट्री वैन शी बिकेम ब्लाइंड एट अ वेरी यंग एज she cracked upsc not only cracked upsc but got one of the top ranks i mean that takes belief that takes self belief and i talk to her whenever i talk to her about our interview of upsc i talk to her about her dreams her aspirations i always hear things like you know that i always hear confidence she always has confidence she always has a belief in herself and that belief is what is going to make half of your journey very very easy so take out all this doubt which you are surrounded by out of the window start believing in your abilities but this confidence in your abilities this belief in your abilities will come from proper you will have to nurture it you have to learn it you have to do it in order to get this confidence see confidence ek to aata hai ki aap thodi si saans lete ho and then you're like okay you know i feel better i will do it come on let's go थोड़ा सा कॉन्फिडेंस तो ऐसे आता है थोड़ा सा कॉन्फिडेंस बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट द मैक्सिमम काइंड ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस विल कम फ्रॉम योर हाउ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग योर सेल्फ यू नो यू माइट हैव हर्ड ऑफ द टर्म दैट 90% परसेंट ऑफ द वॉर्स आर नॉट वन इन द बैटल जोन बट दे आर वन इन द प्रैक्टिस फील्ड सो वेन एन आर्मी वेन ए सोल्जर इज बेटर प्रिपेयर ही विल बी एबल टू फाइट बेटर इन द वॉर जोन एंड यू आर नो वन बट दैट सोल्जर यू आर नो वन बट दैट सैनिक who has this duty to hone yourself to sharpen your own knife before the battle begins because if you don't sharpen yourself every day you're going to fail in the last test in the last moment when you are in the battle zone so what are the things that i want you to do in order to gain confidence in order to gain to remove doubt in order to become more confident about your own abilities i want you to do a few things i have written them down i will also put them in the comments but i want you to do a few things number 1 i want you to have an intention i want you to have an intention intention ka matlab kya hota hai ki you have a clear vision of what you want uska matlab ye nahi hai ki aap bahut high five goals apne liye bana lo high five goals meaning what i want to be steve jobs i want to be like this entrepreneur i want to be like that no you are you so make your own goals and those goals should be tangible my goal when i was preparing for upsc was my single focus thing was i didn't care about labasna or any other academy i didn't care academy to kuch bhi ho sakti hai kahin bhi ho sakti hai kaise bhi ho sakti hai what i cared was about seeing my name in the merit list in the top 100 and that is what i cared about now i did not think about it so regularly but i knew that that was a bigger goal in my mind दैन मुझे वहाँ पे किसी तरह मेरा नाम वहाँ आना चाहिए तो ये एक आप अपने अंदर एक इंटेंशन यू हैव टू डेवलप दिस इंटेंशन इन साइड यू बिकॉज विदाउट दैट इंटेंशन यू आर नॉट गोइंग एनी वेयर दिस पॉजिटिव इंटेंशन हैज़ टू बी देर एंड यू हैव टू कीप रिमाइंडिंग योर सेल्फ ऑफ दिस पर्पज दैट यू हैव दिस पर्पज इज नॉट गो टू लबासना इज नॉट बिकम एन ऑफिसर विद अ कार एंड विद ऑल दिस वो सब यू नो लाइक पीपल से मुँह माया है इट डजेंट मैटर what matters is seeing your name in the list and that is what you are working hard for pad kis liye le rahe ho baad mein ye sab cheeze aayengi na you will automatically go to the academy ye sab aapko distract karne wali cheeze hain when you see the videos of academy etc these are distracting things because you are lost in your dreams have a realistic realistic goal aur usko fir chote chote apne dreams mein usko aap then you have to go ahead and make that into small dreams your dream is i will see my name in the list but what are the sub dreams or smaller goals to achieve that dream the smaller goals to achieve that dream is every day i will wake up at this time and start studying 
I will utilize my mornings. I will utilize my evenings. This is the target that I have for every day. This is the test series target I have for every week. This is the target of subjects I have for every month. This is how much I have to write every month. This is what essay practice I have to do every month. See this very very tangible goals you have to create for yourself in order to get to the dream. See anything that you want to achieve in life has to come from small goals. And when you achieve these small goals, what happens is you create accountability for your work. Without working, first of all, you समझ लो कि hard work तो करना पड़ेगा बैठ के You have to put in lot of lot of hard work in all, able to qualify. But in which direction this hard work is directed, that is also very important. Because अगर आपका hard work random है आप आज पूरे दिन बैठ के पॉलिटी 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 यू स्टार्टिंग एंड नेक्स्ट डे यू स्टार्टिंग हिस्ट्री नेक्स्ट डे यू स्टार्टिंग सम अदर सब्जेक्ट यू आर नॉट प्रैक्टिसिंग टेस्ट पेपर्स यू हैव नो आइडिया कि लास्ट टेन ईयर्स में वॉट काइंड ऑफ टॉपिक्स हैव कम इन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स देन यू आर वेस्टिंग योर टाइम यू आर वेस्टिंग योर टाइम इफ यू आर ब्लेमिंग द पेपर इफ यू आर वेस्टिंग योर टाइम इफ यू आर ब्लेमिंग सम वन एल्स फॉर योर ओन फेलियर्स फॉर योर ओन रिजल्ट सी वी हैव टू टेक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड it is natural to be in a in a uh, defensive mode as well lot of times i used to blame other things i used to have this tendency to blame other things maine kya na mai koi i am not different from you guys i have had the same problems the same challenges but i have tried to condition my mind in order to think in a positive way in order to have a good attitude in life this attitude is very very important because without that attitude it is difficult to qualify this exam एंड रिमेंबर मैं जब भी आपके लिए वीडियोज़ में कुछ बता रहा हूँ तो आई एम टेलिंग यू बिगर पिक्चर ऑफ थिंग्स आई एम नॉट टेलिंग यू द माइन्यूट डिटेल्स ऑफ थिंग्स दैट माइन्यूट डिटेल्स ओनली यू योर सेल्फ कैन फिगर आउट नो टीचर नो मैंटोर नो वन कैन एवर टेल यू द कि पाथ पर चलना कैसे है ही विल ओनली गिव यू डायरेक्शन ओके आई कैन ओनली गिव यू डायरेक्शन आई कैन ओनली गिव यू सम ट्रिक्स एंड टिप्स But after that, it is you who has to find a way around, or you have to decide on how you will walk on that path. So don't expect everything. Don't expect to be spoon fed. All right. Even though I do spoon fed you, spoon feed you all of you a lot. I give very specific things about subjects, etc. But I feel like that you have to apply your own mind. You are not going to get everything from me. Okay. So it is very important to create accountability for yourself. To have a mechanism where you know. so for example i'll tell you what i used to do i used to have a very specific target that every day how many pages i have to read in order to finish the subject for example let's say i was reading history bipin chandra book or spectrum book i knew that book has 400 pages every day i can do 20 25 pages 20 to 25 pages some days maybe plus minus 10% that scope is there so if i knew that then i knew that within 15 to 20 days i can finish this entire book understand it write down various notes and then i can come to revise it in 10 days because i can read faster next time in the second time so i knew that i can do this particular subject in 20 days 25 days and like this i created my goals one step at a time for every subject ek subject mein main focus kar raha tha to dusre ke bare mein i didn't used to think i used to focus on that finish that within 20 days not waste my time and move ahead Now that doesn't mean that if you are starting so slow that you are taking nine nine hours to do small small things, that would be a waste of time. You will have to come back, you will have to come back and become faster and become more efficient at it because that will matter. Eventually, you have to be efficient. You cannot go at the same speed you started with. But this improvement will come. Remember, if you tie yourself, you tie yourself to this, an internal sort of a an internal promise to yourself. तर नहीं ऐसे ही करना है तो इवेंचुअली यू विल गेट दर हो सकता है फर्स्ट डे यू आर नॉट एबल टू डू ट्वेंटी पेजेज ए डे यू डू ओनली फिफ्टीन पेजेज ए डे टेन पेजेज ए डे फाइव पेजेज ए डे बट दैट इम्प्रूवमेंट हैज़ टू बी दर विच यू हैव टू मॉनिटर फॉर योर सेल्फ वीक आफ्टर वीक सो दैट इज़ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो दिस काइंड ऑफ स्मॉल स्मॉल स्ट्रैटेजीज कैन हेल्प यू समटाइम्स आई यूज टू फाइंड सर्टन सब्जेक्ट्स हार्ड टू स्टडी सो आई डेंट गेट स्टक देर आई यूज टू मूव ऑन एंड देन आई यूज टू कम टू द हार्ड सब्जेक्ट्स और टॉपिक्स लेटर ऑन because if you get stuck on one topic and you spend another 10 days wasting your time on that topic you are not allocating your time which is the most important resource in this preparation properly to fir main dusri taraf jata tha i used to finish those topics come back with a fresh mind find some other sources and then study it again 
यूपीएससी में सोर्सेज सोर्सेज सब करते रहते हैं कि सेम बुक्स पढ़ो सेम बुक्स पढ़ो यस इम्पॉर्टेंट है रिविजन सेम बुक्स इम्पॉर्टेंट है बट आपकी लैटरल नॉलेज भी अच्छी होनी चाहिए योर लैटरल नॉलेज हैज़ टू बी गुड लॉट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंट्स डोंट अंडरस्टैंड हु क्वालिफाई एक्चुअली हु बिकम ऑफिसर्स दैट दे ऑलवेज हैड बिन रीडिंग दे ऑलवेज हैड गुड एक्सपोजर दैट वे सो वंस दे स्टडीड दीज लिमिटेड सोर्सेज दे वर एबल टू कनेक्ट ऑल द डॉट्स एंड राइट द एग्जाम वेरी वेल सो आई वॉन्ट यू टू लर्न दैट समटाइम्स यू माइट नॉट बी दैट कैंड ऑफ एन एक्सपीरियंट हु हैज़ रेड ए लॉट हु हैज़ हैड दैट अपब्रिंगिंग राइट सो इन दैट केस यू विल हैव टू मेक दैट एक्स्ट्रा एफर्ट टू हैव नॉलेज फ्रॉम वेरियस टेंजेंट रिसोर्सेज एंड फॉर दैट यू विल हैव टू यूज गूगल यू विल हैव टू यूज यू ट्यूब वेरी वेरी वाइजली सो इसके लिए द बेस्ट स्ट्रैटेजी इज कि आप टॉपिक वाइज पढ़ो और टॉपिक वाइज उन टॉपिक्स को मास्टर करते हैं इनको इफ इन वन बुक दिस टॉपिक इज नॉट गिवन वेल डोंट शाई अवे फ्रॉम रेफर रेफरिंग टू इंटरनेट रेफरिंग टू यूट्यूब और एनी अदर बुक टू स्टडी दैट टॉपिक बिकॉज समटाइम्स सम टॉपिक्स आर नॉट प्रॉपरली गिवन इन ए बुक आई डिड दैट फॉर माई ऑप्शनल फॉर माई ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट लॉट ऑफ माई सब्जेक्ट्स टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम वन पर्टिकुलर बुक वर नॉट गुड सो आई वॉट अनदर बुक स्टडी फ्रॉम दैट I did a lot of my own research. In fact, I my management optional was my optional, and I, you know, there was no guidance ever anywhere about that optional. I created my own sources. I studied, find out, found out sources, looked at the syllabus, found out the right books. Everything I did from the scratch. It took a lot of time, wasted my time, but then I did it at that time. So I suggest you, कितना time waste मत करना. Classic sources पढ़ो, थोड़े बहुत इधर से use करो ताकि time waste ना हो. Definitely time is important, but If you're not able to understand it, don't shy away from googling it, from using internet, or from using any other source. Don't have this mindset. This spectrum is not enough. Why you are asking me to study Bipin Chandra? That is that is a very shallow way to look at this exam, actually. All right. So, like I said, remind yourself of your purpose. Then it is also important that. आपकी इंटेंसिटी जरूरी नहीं है आपकी कंसिस्टेंसी जरूरी है इंटेंसिटी इज नॉट एज इम्पॉर्टेंट बट कंसिस्टेंसी इज मोर इम्पॉर्टेंट वॉट इज इंटेंसिटी इंटेंसिटी इज सम डेज विल बी ऑल आउट स्टडी फॉर सिक्सटीन आवर्स ए डे हॉरिबल आइडिया एंड अदर डेज यू विल बी कंप्लीटली जीरो डोंट डू दैट हैव कंसिस्टेंसी एट आवर्स एवरी डे डू दैट दैट विल सर्व यू मच स्ट्रॉगर मच बेटर सेम थिंग आई गिव रेफरेंस ऑफ जिम ट्रेनिंग वेट लिफ्टिंग You cannot go and lift 150 kgs in one day. It is not going to happen. You will break your back. But it is better to start slowly, 10 kgs, 5 kgs, 20 kgs, 30 kgs. Then you can lift 100 kgs. Similarly, in UPSC, you cannot do heavy lifting on one day, on first day itself. You have to build your base. It will take time for students who are coming from absolutely no background in these kind of subjects. Take those three, four more, three, four months. Get yourself in that particular mood that you are able to do heavy lifting later on. Similarly, in cricket, have you seen most batsmen, most successful batsmen go and first try to understand the pitch. जाएंगे वह defend करेंगे ball इधर उधर हल्का हल्का shots खेलेंगे and then once they have set in the pitch, they have played 50, 60 balls like Virat Kohli. You know, he'll keep doing ones and twos, but once he set into the pitch, he will start creating force out of the same balls. Out of the same pitch, out of the same day, because you need to get comfortable. You need to get warmed up. You need to get uh, settled in, and I want you to first settle in. So it is important that consistency is important, not intensity. Settle in and have the daily same routine that you follow, day after day after day, consistent, day after day. That is really what matters. Other than that, there are a few things that I want to tell you, like how to manage your time better, because time is the most important currency in UPSC preparation. How to target pages per day, like I told you, target pages rakho per day, twenty pages, twenty-five pages, thirty pages. Have target pages per day that you need. Have test days. Have dedicated test days. कि इस दिन मुझे test लेना है, मुझे अपने आप को test करना है. Obviously, to be able to test yourself, you have to be able to have some studies you have already done. तो पढ़ के फिर test जरूर लेना है. देखना है कि कहाँ पे मार्क्स आ रहे हैं किन टॉपिक्स को मैं मिस कर रहा हूँ आई यूज टू टेस्ट माई सेल्फ ए लॉट एवरी वीक आफ्टर स्टडिंग ए टॉपिक आई शू टेस्ट माई सेल्फ ऑन दैट टॉपिक एंड दैट वे आई न्यू आई रिवाइज भी हो जाता है एंड देन आई न्यू वेर आई वॉज गोइंग रॉन्ग एंड आई ऑल्सो न्यू वॉट कैंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर कमिंग सो माई आई वॉज नॉट ओनली इन स्टडी मोड बट ऑल्सो इन टेस्ट मोड बिकॉज दैट रियली हेल्प्स देन रिविजन आवर्स ऑलवेज कीप योर रिविजन आवर्स सी यू कैन नॉट जस्ट स्टडी 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 कीप डूइंग डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स एंड नॉट रिवाइज Every week, 
after studying a subject i used to revise it i used to give four five hours to revise that completely because only this recalling and revising will make you help it stay in your mind for a longer period of time so revision hours rakho target pages per day rakho test days rakho then write a lot don't shy away from writing i am not saying first day start doing answer writing practice sit down write your targets maintain a diary where you are writing what you are maybe even feeling you write down what are the things that you have to do have a to do list have goals write it all this writing will help you in the long term it will help you not only in answer writing essay writing later on it will help you to structure your entire studies a lot so write a lot social media try to cut it down unfortunately we are also addicted to social media i am addicted to social media twitter pe i end up spending so much time even though lot of it is useless but i am trying to cut it down and even i am lot of times i am also you know little bit lalach hota hai ki twitter pe kuch dal do so that aspirants will give a little a lot of retweets that is always there that kind of this thing we always have you know mentality or this lalach this greed and we fall to it we sometimes get up to it but to be honest for an aspirant the stakes for you are much higher not for me but you for you are much much higher because you are at a pivotal point in your life so social media pe mat raho jitna kam rahoge utna acha rahega try to have daily goals and try to use your morning time i use my morning time really well my morning time is mine is no one's else so you use your morning time try to wake up early ye raat wala habit chodo ye bilkul bekar hai trust me it will not help you in the long term all right so a lot of things i have told you today i hope you are able to kind of make sense of these things write them down whatever things i have told you or fir ek ek karke dekho ki whatever you can implement in your daily studies all right and let me know if you have any questions more than happy to help you um, answer your questions in the comment i always try to answer your comments questions in the comments and best of luck uh, we will be in touch next week i will post another video it will be mostly about answer writing haven't done that in a while and then i'll come back to subjects again all right take care bye bye so if you want me to come and do any sessions live like in a classroom or something let me know maybe i will do some sort of arrangement for that also maybe in delhi or south india so let me know if you will be interested in that very happy to hear about that okay thanks take care bye bye